Welcome you guys to the channel. Ah, there we go. Take it back off. Okay. Oh man, welcome you guys to the show. I am late. I know I'm late. I don't know how late I am. Um. But anyway, hopefully you guys can hear me just all right. All right, so we're going to be doing a lot of different things today, you guys. Um, we're going to go outside. We're going to see the puppies. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of different stuff. The dog you see and all that kind of good stuff for you guys, man. Um, I'm trying to get live on my computer. Oh, my computer's now on an update. Stupid. All right. So anyway, welcome you guys to the channel, man. Did you guys like the... Um, it's my first time trying it. The... Um, I guess it lets you know when I'm about to go live or whatever. It's my first time using the feature. I'm not too uh, tech savvy, I guess, or whatever. I felt pretty smart using it, I don't know. All right, so you guys already know the title, man. Uh, first thing, before I even get into anything at all, um, if this is your first time joining to the channel, man, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, please be respectful in the comments, you guys. Um, you know, let's respect everybody's opinion and um let's do that uh if you're first time joining in on one of my live videos man first hit that smash that like button give it a thumbs up man just smash the like button um give it uh let me know everybody tell me where you guys you guys know i always like to know where you guys are watching the videos from where you guys are at and some lucky person what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna write a name on I'm gonna write a state on the board and the first person that writes where they're from on that from that state will get a like a shirt or something like that. Mail it out to you guys. Um, <clears throat> but if you're first time here, hit the subscribe button, man. Hit the like button. Let me know where you guys are watching this video from, and we're about to get into it. You guys know what I like to do. I don't like to do a whole long term before we get into it. Let's just get right to it first. I got to answer some of you guys' questions. Some of you guys are checking in from North Carolina, Ohio, New Orleans, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Florida, New Jersey, New Jersey. Who, I'll tell you, whoever has, who has the most, the state that has the most representing, which state is representing the most? That's what I want to do. All right. Ah, man. Beard all messy. Don't mind me, y'all. I promise you, it's, it's a mess. I've been back and forth. So, uh... So we're gonna go over three different things right quick, man. Philadelphia, Texas, Houston. Give my shirt. <laughs> Pale, what's up, big boy? Josh Mello, what's up? Arlen, Louisiana. Tamika Davis. Samantha Hagen. Uh, all right. So I told I had a client that called me today, or a potential client that called me today, and told me her dad. Like I think her name was Samantha. I don't know if I had it right or wrong, but her dad says that her. She told me her dad does. Uh, he's into the short hair pointers. Um, I had to tell her like I'm disappointed because you know I told her I was gonna tell her dad. I give him a thumbs down for that. You know what I mean? Uh, it really hurt my heart. Uh, he's not welcome to come to the butt. No, I'm just joking. He's more than welcome to come. But we gotta change him, you guys. You guys, let's go ahead and give Harold. Tell Harold that. He has to go and get a Rottweiler. That's it. There's no other dog to get except for a Rot. All right. Um, <clears throat> don't 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 let your dad corrupt you to getting a short hair pointer. I'm just gonna say that. All right. All right. So let me see some of you guys. Uh, Florida in here. Atlanta got seven pups coming from Tony. I'm geek all the way. Georgia representing the most. MJ Rottweiler Ranch. That boy does have seven Rottweilers, you guys. Uh, you guys look out for MJ Rockwaller Ranch. Um, make sure you guys go follow him, man, as well. Because he's going to see some big things. That's going to be a kennel. When someone, I'm going to tell you, like, that's, let me just take a moment and tell you what it really means. It ain't the first time, but I don't ever take it for granted. When people invest, not one, not two, not three, not four, but just seven dogs. And, they I mean, they believe in you, man. And you want to make sure that you get them right. We talked today as well, too. Um, I'm a little under the weather, you guys, so excuse my voice if it sounds a little bit i'm trying not to cough <clears throat> i said i'm trying to cough and that cough so but just want to say big shout out man so you guys i'm going to create a page um it's going to call b block and i'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to explain to you what b block stands for um to you guys a little bit later on 
Um, I'm going to create a a source where everybody who's got a dog for me is able to share and get together and collaborate and do things together. Um, it's like a butler kennels togetherness or whatever, whatever you want to call it. All right. So be on the lookout for that. It's called B Block. And B Block is, like I said, I'll go in detail about what B Block is, um, the meaning. If you guys know, I'm telling you now, now I got a little list. I got to write things down because my brain has not been the best about remembering things, you guys. So I got you guys. All right. Uh, no one else from Ohio. Jason, looking like you're the only one from Ohio, man. Georgia representing. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give Georgia already seven points because he got seven dogs coming from me. So that's already seven points. <laughs> I'll be fair. I'm not going to do that. I'll be fair. See, Chris, you're right. Tell him, Harold, get a Roddy. Um, you guys, man, you guys keep commenting, man. Let's just get right into it, man. One of the biggest things I want to tell you guys first, and I promise you, we're going to go out there, we're going to look at the dogs, we're going to have some fun. You guys know I got a little secret of my little secret to show you guys as well, too. And we're going to discuss who the winner is. Um, you guys can count it to make sure I counted it like three or four times just to make sure the person that's winning it doesn't know it yet, as well. I swear he doesn't know yet. Um, that. I was gonna even announce the winner right now. So that's what happens. So sometimes you get a little, uh, you just gotta stay tuned. You don't know what's gonna be happening. And I'm gonna give away, uh, I'm gonna give three winners away today on my live. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna pick somebody random just on my live who comments. Just, just random. If you're always commenting, I'm just gonna put a, uh, I'm just gonna pick somebody and that person's gonna get either a shirt, a memorabilia, a hat. Um, so, uh, I'm not gonna say that is, but it's gonna be a shirt for right now. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're gonna go over first is um, visitors. I do not have visitors coming to Butler Kennels right now. Um, uh, there we go. There we go. All right. So I don't have visitors coming right now. COVID is still real, you guys. Things are still happening. People are still getting sick. Um, this is the time of the year when things are starting to pick back up again. I don't care if you guys are willing to buy seven dogs and you got the cash in hand. The only people that are allowed to come to my establishment right now are those that are picking up a dog. I um, hope you guys can understand that. I have a family. I want to keep them safe. You guys are traveling back and forth. And no one ever thinks they can get it. I always think that they're safe or whatever cases. If you believe in it, you don't. I don't care. I do. So, my rules. Um, so... If you're gonna be here, we're gonna start doing. Um, oh. All right, all right, there we go. So, if you guys uh, just understand, man, safety is first. Um, the amount of money doesn't mean anything at all, man. Um, safety, my safety, your safety, and even if you're coming here, uh, we do. We got nothing but sprays and Lysol, mask, and all that kind of stuff. So when you do come, um, we will be having procedures for you guys as well, too. Like I said, it's just to keep everybody safe, man, as well, okay? Uh, if you don't believe in the mask, you don't want to, like, just nap, please, like, just, like I said, just whatever. So right now, I don't have any, I do not have anybody coming to the kennels um, just to check out the dogs. Um, we have a waiting list, and no matter what I say, people will still be like, hey, but can I come check it out? I'm like, bro, you don't even know which number you're going to get. So my saying is, my puppies are always sold out before they're born. I'm going to be honest with you guys. My puppies are sold out before I even breed them. Are, it's a waiting list, okay, you guys? So don't just ask me how much the waiting list is or how long the waiting list is. Don't ask me how much a dog is on my page. Don't ask me the price or nothing else, you guys. If you guys want to know, for all you first timers in here as well, if you want to know the price of my dogs, inbox me, call me, text me. Um, you can follow me on all my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or whatever. Um, I don't discuss, if you want to, just call my number, you guys. Easier just to call me from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Texas time. I can't say it enough, you guys. I'm in Texas. Don't call me. I don't care if you're even on my list. Don't call me before 9 o'clock, okay? I'm not answering your call. And if you call me or text me before 9 a.m. in the morning, I promise you I'm not going to even respond to it. I don't care if you're on my list. Let's have some respect. I'm going to respect you guys the same way. Um, I got hours for a reason because I'm trying to get things in order. Um, unless it's my fault. Now, if you did call me before time, 
like during the time that I didn't get to you, I try to give you guys a call because you did guys did call me in between. All right, you guys don't feel like you guys can't reach out, man. Um, and I'm not no celebrity, all right, you guys stop calling me saying, man, I feel listen, I am just like you guys, man. Only difference is I have this camera so you guys can see the great work that I love so much, man. And I think everybody picks up a camera and picks up and show what they love to do, man. We all can be in the driving seat, and I want to see everybody doing it, man. I think that's the thing that sees, that gets it going. Um, I love seeing people succeed and doing great things, all right? And I hope that what I do is bigger than just the dogs, but showing people, um, you know, go after your dreams, do what you love to do, and just go for it, man. Um, like I said, 17 years in this game, man. It's it's been it's been some uphill battles, but it's been definitely worth. It's definitely been worth it. I won't change it for the world. Some things I would change, but if it brought me here today, I won't change it. All right. So we went over the visitors, you guys. There are no visitors coming in right now. Um, uh, we talked about that. Not that. I made it very quick and easy before we go out there. Um, I'm going to go and tell you guys right now the big winner is, hold up, let me give you guys a winner first on here. Let me get a winner. Let me get a winner. Lavelle Brown says, much respect. You got a free t-shirt coming to you, Bubba. Just inbox me. I got you. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to do two more. I'm doing three. My favorite number is three, you guys. Remember that. It might be a question. I might ask somebody. If you call me about a dog, I might do, and I might even do, um, <clears throat> I might do some some things to give away for you guys, man. Like I said, I'm truly blessed, you guys, man, and I'm very happy. And I can't, I like to pass those on to you guys. So, uh, before we get, we got one more thing to talk about. The winner, the winner for the name of the uh, the name of the 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 little cow, the the, the the calf, or whatever. The name that everybody, the most. You guys that chose, you guys were the ones that actually chose um, the name, uh, picked the name between Angus and uh, Ribeye. And the name that everybody chose more of was Angus. Now, I personally like Angus a lot too. That was my favorite choice. Um, but because my friend said the name, I didn't even tell him that he is the one that said it first. Because it's about who said it first and the person that people chose the most. But I didn't want to be like, you know, toward favoritism because he's my friend I wanted you guys to get it as well uh, Koi Brown Koi is, I, I can't even say what he's doing right now, but Koi, you're the lucky winner and what you get is $500 towards your next dog, man um, it can be used at any given time you can pass it, you can give it to someone else or whatever, it's a lifetime of $500, alright and I'm going to do these like maybe once a month or once every two weeks or once a week. I don't know, man. I don't know how I do. Um, we do these things for you guys as well. Um, so, Koi, the name of the little calf, you guys, is Angus. I like Angus. Um, it goes with what my other dogs are too as well. I mean, other cows are as well. And no, my cows are not bred to be fed to the dog. These cows are for my kids. Matter of fact, let's go. Uh, da, 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 do, 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 do. I like this little handle, man. We got the handle on this thing today. Hope you guys, hope my camera has been um, doing pretty good with you guys. Before we go outside, you guys know what I'm going to do. You guys already know what I'm going to do. Let's go. Let's pick a random one. Ah, oh, God, you so, oh, God, so big. Sorry, my camera just flipped around. There we go. Bam. Look at that pup. Tell me y'all don't want this puppy. So I'm doing a free puppy giveaway. No, I'm just joking with you guys. I'm just joking with you guys. These puppies are already sold out, you guys. These puppies are not for sale. Why don't you look at, look how big this head is on. Uh, don't be looking at my camera so much. Why are you so big, bro? Look at that head. And I got a big head, I'm telling you. I know I got a big head. I want you guys to see the quality of the puppy. I don't mean it's just like one, because I want to show you guys. I'm a matter of fact, let me put the camera around so you guys don't be thinking that it's just, you know. Hold on, let me take this off. I don't need this. Sorry. You guys know what I do. You guys know it's all. Bam! Look at that. Get off my toes. 
take it off. I told you, I want you guys to see the quality of these. Hold up, let me clean my. Excuse me. Oh. All right, there we go. So, I want you guys to see the puppies. Boom, 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 boom. Let's just grab a different one. Oh. Mm. All right. Ugh. Ugh. It's a different one. I know. My camera's on the Ashley right now. I'm gonna wipe the camera lens off right quick. Somebody keeps licking my little legs. Ugh. Show you guys in a second. And then we're gonna go out there. We're gonna come on, you y'all guys. If you guys have puppies, you guys know the battle. The battle of having puppies and trying to walk outside by trying to close the door on puppies. Let you guys know right now. That is. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Since we family, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working on. I am working on the bathroom so when you guys come there's gonna be a bathroom here everything's a mess all over the place you guys so but when you guys come to pick your dogs up we have a bathroom you guys know and all that kind of good stuff there so then you guys I have not forgotten about you guys that want to see the rides and rides I promise you half of my cars are out right now and doing other different things right now but <coughs> excuse me so I've been working on the cars, taking wheels off, brakes off, suspensions, and doing all the good stuff there. If you guys like cars and all that kind of stuff, man, stay tuned for the Rides and Rides. I do have some videos that are going to be uploaded there as well, working on the car, engines, and all that kind of good stuff. There, my list of what I need to get done. <sighs> and then we're back to... Oh, man, I got to feed the cows and... Okay, hold up a second. Let me put let me put this. Uh, you guys know I'm a farm boy. So I gotta go feed the cows. But I want you guys to see for a second. I want you guys to see what I'm telling you guys. You guys know I just changed out my tops, so I'm gonna be changing out the tops. The tops on my kennels. God dang, turn around. There we go. Look at what the wind did just today. Just about maybe an hour ago, it knocked the top off. Y'all hear, hear Charlie? Y'all see Charlie? Look at Charlie. That's Charlie the cow, you guys. All right. So I will be getting. Um, I'm going to be changing the tops on all these stuff. This is crazy. I get tired of keep, and I'm in the mountains, you guys, so that's why the wind is pretty high. So what I'm going to do is, um, what I'm going to do is put an awning top on it as well and show you guys the tops on all the dogs. All right, so we're going to go see the cows right quick, and then we're going to see puppies and the dogs and all that kind of good stuff <sighs> guys come on take a little ride with me you guys man. Charlie's sitting like y'all don't want and you guys get to see little Angus Angus is actually drinking milk right now I'll show you guys you guys to see oh country living ain't, ain't the easiest thing to do i'm telling you guys all right so uh, all right what up charlie charlie you gonna say what's up to the camera man not not hey not be too close now hold on now charlie don't be showing off now every time we on camera we let the show off and act brand new let me see your nose. Charlie, let me see your nose. Someone asked to see it again. Me feeding the cow. Hold on. Hold on, Charlie, move. No, that's, that's too short. Charlie, move. Oh my goodness, Charlie. Bruh, you gotta stop. Hold on, move, man, move. 
Try to let the people see. Give them a show right quick. Here you are. All right. So you see cows have teeth at the bottom and not at the top. So basically they're toothless on the top. Then we got peaches. Peaches is supposed to be pregnant, I think. I don't know. And you guys get to see. You guys get to see Angus. Angus is one somebody 500 one Angus just one koi five hundred dollars. Hey, hey. Ooh, Charlie. Ooh. All right, let me get them some food. Right there. Normally I fit in the bin for these guys. Cause I know you guys didn't really come to see the cows really though. Let's Show you guys a little bit of farm life. Man, you know what? Take it off. I don't even care. I'm gonna sit there and fight this thing on cow stuff right now. So you guys see sirloin. We got Charlie's the only one that doesn't have a steak name. We got I'ma see if this little joke going. I'm gonna see if I can catch him. I probably let me catch him. God dang it. Who think I can actually catch him? Man, I'm not even try. I'm too old. Mm -hmm. I could catch him, but you know, I just don't really want you know people be saying that stuff. <laughs> um that's that right there you guys so i want you guys to see now i'm gonna give you guys a hint i normally never tell you guys what i'm gonna do before i actually do it um i want you guys to see um so someone you guys know there's always someone that says um so this is part of the land i'm not showing you guys a lot of it this is only part of it but i will say I'm about to do something really special right here, okay, for the dogs as well, and down there as well. Now, the one thing I was going to do, but they said the land wasn't ready for it or it's not equipped for it, I was going to do a two-acre pond back here. So it's going to be really nice. The dogs can go back there. But the guy says my dirt and soil isn't for that. And um, I took uh, my degrees in biology and um environmental science and all that kind of stuff and i was like man whatever um but save me some money getting a big old hole dig and just have nothing on there so the water doesn't my land doesn't hold water but my neighbors one do which is crazy because the soil land is a little bit different so i'm gonna do something a little bit different and you guys are going to see what it is when i'm done this spot right here so the wind already ripped all this crap off here but I will give you a little hint. I will be extending my kennels out some more. So each kennel will be a lot bigger than what I do have currently right now. Chicken coop is getting knocked down. We got a whole new chicken coop being built right now. Look at my freaking tops, you guys. Look at my top. This hurts, man. I want to cry. But it's all right. Because I am getting an awning built. Every time you think you got something done, they always else to just make it someone asked me can you go through each dog and show the dogs and who they are i said sure look at one of my previous videos because these are not all of my dogs right here right now these are not all the dogs sorry I'm moving the camera too fast for you guys. if i'm moving the camera too fast for you guys let me know man because sometimes i'm just holding it in my hand as i turn i'm turning you guys and I'm trying to get you guys a good video so you guys can, you know, enjoy the show if you're watching. How many of you guys are actually watching? Well, I guess if you're watching it on the camera, I mean, on your TV, you can't really respond to it. But I didn't know you get such a great experience watching YouTube on your actual television. If you haven't done so yet, you guys go do so. You can't comment or nothing else, but I like the experiment. It's like watching a movie. So we got Kong. Kong Kong, you guys see how tall Kong is? I want you to see how tall I'm on the. I want you to see how tall Kong is to me, right? Look how tall Kong is. I'm six foot. This is a puppy, a one year old puppy. Right, big boy? That's Kong. Now, you guys know Big Kong, Tessa, that's Tessa, that's Kong. We got Florida. And we got Corvette. Hot Rots, what's up, big boy? Big money, big money. You guys go check out Hot Rots, man. That boy's always on. He don't do a lot of YouTube, but he sure do a lot of uh, Facebook Lives. 
You guys, let me tell you, when someone goes live, you can tell when someone is authentic, man. You don't have to edit videos and do all that kind of stuff. Um, Hot Rot's got majority of his dogs from me. Um, man, he's doing great big things. I think he got like three litters on the way coming up there. So if you guys want something a little bit sooner or whatever, go check him out, man. Um, I love the support people that has it. He's a part of B Block as well. Um, like I said, I'm going to go over what B Block stands for, what the letters stand for. Um, some people in B Block don't even know what it stands for, <laughs> but I'm going to let everybody know. But he is part of B Block as well, too, you guys. So, um, you know, as well. Where is my. Anyway, so I forgot what I was doing. I was trying to do something. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, so you got. You guys got um you got are you building a training a training rink? Um where's Khaleesi? I got you. I got you. Um no 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 no. I'm building um this is Sting. We got Sting right here. Serbia. What's up, big mama? We got Serb. You guys know you guys love it. We got Venus. Sean always calls her a junkyard dog. So he looked like a junkyard dog. And that's Goliath. Ooh. Yeah, straight. You know what? This, that's Goliath, man. And Serena. And Venus, sorry. Come here, mama. Oh! Ah, yeah. Everybody gets jealous. Now, you guys know. Look at this. Look at everybody just mad, man. <laughs> jealous. Come on. <coughs> Come on. Come here, girl. Come on. Inside. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, no, get back inside, girl. <laughs> Venus. They want to go right now. Venus. Goliath. Let's go. No. Get the bucket. Come on. That's kind of disrespect I give you. Hey, hey, hey. They don't want to hear all that. Maybe I do, but you know, I'm loud. Serena. Come here, girl. I keep calling her Serena. It's Venus. Thing <laughs> uh, has. Uh... Come here, girl. Why are you being such a big bad girl? Uh, come on, let's go. No, 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 no. Come on. Big old I'm gonna keep going. Goliath, you wanna go into? Goliath. What's up, big boy? I think it lasts what, 10 months? 10 months old? That's 10 months, you guys. But you guys will understand what that big old look at that head on that joker no don't, don't you jump on me if i bite you back no oh, man stop bro so anyway we got sorry we got lilac over there we got michelle um ugh. eye boogers on the ew ew we got Tank Tank and we got Lala. I named her after Lala Anthony, one of my uh, celebrity crushes at the time. They come and go real fast. You got Nala and then you got Big Hulk. Nala makes Hulk look like, bruh, whatever. Let's let you see my females. See a female, male, female, and male. I want you guys to see that's a male, that's a female. What? And y'all guys know how massive Hulk is. That's Hulk. But next to one of my other females, you see how big she is compared to Hulk, man. It's just it's to show you. And size is not size is not everything. But I like to let you guys see. People ask me, how big are your dogs? Man, I don't care to show you and talk about how the size of them. I like showing you the quality, the girth of them as well, too. But not necessarily just the weight of them. Because some dogs can be really big and too big for what they were bred to be. So don't get too caught up in what the... Uh, 
the size is, all right? Um, Cause some of my dolls are a little bit smaller than the other ones. You'll see, like she's well, she's only a, she's a year and some change too as well. But that's Barack. If you think about it, I got some names that go together: Barack, and I had to tell you about Michelle. So Barack and Michelle and Mama. Um, don't get political in my in my thing, all right, you guys. If you don't like Barack, then I don't care. That's the dog's name. They ain't going nowhere. If you don't like him, so what? Um. Do, 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 do. That's Chevelle. That's big old Chevelle. She's a year and some change old. That's big old, big old girl. Barack, quit trying to steal the show every time. Big girl, big boy and girl. What's up? Goliath, you're just looking like, hey, what about me? So, and yes, I have not pressure washed the kennels yet, you guys. I want you guys to see exactly what it is before I even get started. This is what the kennel really looks like. My tops are all messed up. I would have been up here right now if I wasn't live. I'd have been doing my tops right now. Been doing all this stuff, you guys. But yes, I will be pressure washing my kennels immediately after this video is done. All right, you guys. Um, my dogs hear the live and they're barking, <laughs> looking for your. <laughs> uh, Hot Ross just had a whole new kennel set up, man. He just moved. That guy's doing big things as well, man. New kennel, new house, new everything. He just got money. You know what I mean? He got big money, so. Um, anyway, I gotta keep going on. Um, we got big Zelda. So Zelda, if you guys notice, I'm not really importing any more dogs from anywhere. I love the dogs that I produce better. I'm just going it's not, it's not a hit on anybody else that has dogs or whatever from someplace else. I'm just showing you my dogs as well. And then, since Pale said he wants to see her. That's Khaleesi. Zelda! Come here, Zelda! Come here! I didn't say you. Oh, no, 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 no. You are wet. No! Don't jump on me! Come on, get inside. Get. Nope. Zelda, stop. Come on. Get your little big head inside there. Oh. Khaleesi! Pal, I'm gonna bust your butt, man. This is what. This is what I gotta do because of you. Because you want to bring Khaleesi out. You guys, this is Khaleesi. This is uh Khaleesi. Whoa! No! Don't you stop! stop. stop. <laughs> and it's a 10 month old with Khaleesi. Let you guys see the size of him. Look at that big old muscle. This is a muscle one, man. He has that muscle features. Some dogs have that. They look thinner. Hey! 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 We got it, man. Dog, they hear you. They're still barking for hot rocks to hear them, I guess. Come on. Oh, we don't want to see that. She's using the bathroom, you guys. So, and then we got, go over here. I'm not going to do those little puppies. You guys don't even know about them yet. That's La Bamba. La Bamba. La, 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 Bamba. Ba, da, da, da. That's a little jumpy one there. I was thinking jump now. That's a little puppy, by the way. A little puppy, La Bamba. And these are the little, these are all girls, by the way. All Everybody from here on out is girls. So all these are little puppies, little girls. <laughs> Lisa and Lala is one of my favorite, and Tony knows why. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Yeah. You've always said that over and over again. Um, hey, get out. Let's go. Hey, Khaleesi, come here. Let them see you. Come here. Hey, hey, slow down. Slow, whoa, whoa, slow down. Slow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, listen. Listen. Give me, give me a little rub. Give me a little rub. Okay. Oh, Lord, here he comes. He got to rub and do all this kind of stuff here as well. Khaleesi, Pell want to see you. That's what we're going to do. This is what we gonna do, seriously. This is what we gonna do. This is a female. Please stop getting too much. Stop, Khaleesi, God, dog, man. Oh my God. Yes. <sighs> Come on, Khaleesi, let's go. Kennel, let's go. Back inside. Good job, mama. Come on. 
Khaleesi, let's go. God, y'all wet. Khaleesi, this way, this way. Come on, Khaleesi, it's up. Thank you. They listen sometimes. Goliath, what are you doing, man? You're a bad boy. No, I'm messing with you. What's up, man? What's up, man? Um, Hot Rots actually has his brother. Koi, who won the $500, has his brother as well. <laughs> Ain't a coincidence. Yeah. Everybody's got the brother. Seriously. Uh, she is such a good girl. If you guys are interested within the blue, the blue, the blue, the blue, the blue, if you guys are interested in a pup, email me, inbox, well, don't email me, I'm not going to, email is the last thing I check, but inbox me, text me, um, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever, send me a text or call me is the fastest way to get a response, I'm not going to lie to you guys, somebody probably wondering why the puppies are barking, and no one's even on her, get off of her! <laughs> so the life just stole my whole heart. Hey, you can see your heart. Can't just steal him though. Now that's my baby, then now. Right, Goliath. Right, big boy. They say Rodney said you just stole his heart, man. So we're gonna put a little bit more time on him for you, just for Rodney. Oh God, bro, listen. Look, I'm gonna beat your little. Okay, you guys, I'll just be saying that. I don't really beat them, but. Hey, come here. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 come here. You like the camera? Come in and say hey. Look. This is a 10 month, I believe it's 10 months. Y'all don't be messing me up, man. I know I'd be like within a month off or whatever, but he's not a year yet, I tell you that. Right, big boy? I know. I know. This is my baby boy. My baby boy. Um, watching from St. Croix. <laughs> oh, best! The best! What's up? <laughs> Best, best. You guys, man, watch out, man. I'm telling you, beautiful, beautiful place. I'm a, I, I got a secret for you guys. You guys remember that. Just remember that that text right there from Best. Best, you the man. That's all I'm gonna say. You, you already know you the man, bro. You already know you the man. Um, Goliath. See how Goliath just jump over there. Come here, Bubba. Don't you splash my water. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> he did say tag you it. And now he's wet. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. See if he's gonna see if he's gonna come. <laughs> he said that specialty litter be doing something. Hold up. You said I'm ignoring you. What are you talking about? You building them a pool? LOL. No, 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 no. I'm not building them a pool. Um no, 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 no. No, quit trying to guess it. I'll tell you, it's going to be a surprise. You're going to see it anyway, pal. I got you. I'm trying to guess my, my secret. Goliath, get your big head over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Big old boy. And don't you touch me. You're all wet and nasty, you little bum bum. You bum. Come on. Let's go. Let's go take a walk with the dogs. Let's see if we can hurt some, some cows. Come on, bub. Want to hurt some cows? We're gonna go herd some cows, the cows over there. Come on. Fool. He's like, um, uh, show me your herder, boy. <laughs> but they're really just being protected because of the uh because of the that's the mama the mama cow was the one that was getting away you guys see it <laughs> he doesn't want to play they don't know any better they're all going to go inside 
Well, you did a good job, buddy. You, you did hurt him. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, the biggest Rottweiler ever at Butler Kendall Rottweilers is right there. See, the wind even took my dog on. Um, the wind even took my um, my crates and stuff. That's Butler Kennel's biggest Rottweiler right there, you guys. <laughs> Man, my kids be trying to, like, my kids, they love that little dog. Come on, Bubba. Let's go take a walk. Come on. Want we'll take a walk with that? Come on. Come on, Goliath. All right. All right, time to get another random person with a free shirt. Let's see here. Tanisa, what's going on? Man, I'm going to give everybody, if, listen, if I know what you do something, I'm just going to shoot it out. If you guys have a business, shoot it out. If it's legit business, beside a dog breed. Don't be, don't be posting no dog breeding business on my stuff. I don't know who y'all, a lot of people be following for y'all stuff. But if you got a business, like Tanisa is a uh, real estate agent in Louisiana. So if you guys are looking for a house, go hit her up. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm talking about people who I know for sure, all right? Ah, uh, man. Infidel! You, my brother, gets a free shirt. Just inbox me your information and you will win. You have one with your size, your email, and not me email, I don't need your email. Just text me your phone number, your mailing address, and your size. Colors will be surprised. I can't tell you guys. I don't know what size I have in your color, so. All right. How much land do you own, if you don't mind me asking? I'll never actually say how much land I own, you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a lot of reasons why I never will. Um, it's a lot though. It's 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 a lot for me. I will tell you that. It's... Goliath. Goliath loved that ball, man. I'm gonna tell you, this ball, you guys, is still the answer. If you want your dog to lose some energy, you guys see some buckshot shells. So this here, this thing is full of water, so it doesn't move as fast as the other balls. Like that ball there does. If you see, I'm gonna roll this one. It doesn't let the dogs roll it so fast like this here. If I were to just, it just keeps going. Um, but they love it. So if you guys, you guys know, I don't do things for sponsorships or whatever, but I will tell you guys, if I believe in the product, man, I don't care if I'm getting paid for it or not, I'm let you guys know. Go get you guys a Jolly Ball. You fill it up with water. Halfway, don't fill it all the way up. Fill it up halfway with water. Bruh. Goliath. This video is all about you today, huh? Gimme. Ready? Go. Anyway. But uh the land thing is just um I got enough land, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's pretty good. Got some cows, got some dogs, some chickens and all that kind of good stuff to run up there. Tony just wanted to say what's up, Tony, and showing love to you, the dogs in the channel from Fort Myers, Florida. Joseph Paul, big shout out to you, my brother. Appreciate the positive support, which I always love. I don't know why so many people, I, you know, I'm not gonna do that, but I will say I love the positive vibes, man, each person brings in here. I love you guys, man. I appreciate all the phone calls you guys are always calling and just letting me know, hey, Tony, I just wanna tell you, I appreciate you for what you do the positivity, the information. Um, I believe that if I have information, I wanna share it with you guys. I don't care if you're a breeder or whatever. I want you to be able to get it and grow, man. I want you to have this information. That's why I share this information with you guys, man. Um, there's no competition with me. 
Competition means to compete, and I don't compete with no other breeder, no other human being in this life, because I am doing me. Uh, since all your dogs, all your animals have good temperament, they have excellent temperament. They are, it's all about, I mean, I love, temperament is the name of the game, you guys. So here's the thing, how to purchase a dog from Butler Kennel Rottweilers, right? I'm just going to give you guys a lot of, I'm going to give you guys some information. Somebody's probably wondering, hey, how do I get a, how do I get to purchase a dog from Butler Kennel Rottweilers? First step is watch some YouTube videos before you actually call me, watch some more YouTube videos. Um, and then watch a little bit more of them, okay? The reason why I say watch videos and stuff is because you get to see what other people have experienced. All of my videos are un, ugh, all of my videos are unedited. They're just raw, uncut videos, and we're going, hey, Goliath, let's go. Come on, man. Bro, let's go. You in that freaking ball. Come on, Buck. I ain't gonna kick the ball way over it. Nah, don't kick. Go get your ball now. You big bear. You big bear. Ten month old bear. Alright. That's what you wanna see? Alright. Boom, 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 boom. Goliath's looking really good, bro. I appreciate that, you guys. No shirt. Rhonda, there's, not a, there's still a chance you get a shirt. I got you, Rhonda. Marcus says, what's going on, Tony? Love the channel from South Carolina. South Carolina, finally. You guys know, you guys know I'm kind of a little partial to my South Carolinians now. You know, I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. You guys are always calling me and saying, Hey, you got a South Carolina number. You're in Texas, though? Yes. I've had this number. Oh, let me turn my camera around so you guys can see me. So I've had this number since I was 17, 18. And I haven't changed this number ever since. And I don't plan on changing it anytime soon. So go get it. So, um... I love when South Carolinians are always in here, man. So I'm from South Carolina. That's why I have a South Carolina number, you guys. But I'm in Texas. Okay. So what's the steps to buying a dog from Butler Kennel Rottweilers? I'm going to make a video about it as well. But since you guys are here, I'm going to give you guys a sneak preview. So you guys already got to step up. That's the good thing about these live videos. Right? You don't know what kind of information you're going to get. So uh, uh First step is, like I said, watch the videos. That means you're doing some research. You're getting an understanding about who I am as a breeder. You guys, don't fall for these breeders that sounds really good on the phone. And you see their real true personalities and it's not what you agree with at all. Um, every breeder isn't for everyone. I may not be for someone either. So I'd rather you get the right... You get some water, bro. Um, I'd rather you get the right dog and you're happy with it than just trying to get someone a sale. Some breeders don't care about what... Um, some breeders don't care about uh, what you're actually looking for. They're just going for the sale. Rule number one, you guys. Stop telling these breeders exactly what you're looking for first. What I mean by that is... Some of you guys will call a breeder and says, hey, man, I want a dog to do this, 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 and the third. You got that? You really think Joey down the street does have a dog and he's trying to sell these puppies? He's going to tell you, yeah. He's like, hey, man, I'm looking for a Rottweiler that I want a Rottweiler with some wings on it, man, with some purple tips. They got a purple, they're going to have purple paws on them. You know what I mean? Uh, uh. And that breeder's gonna tell you, yep, I got one with purple paws, man. It's gonna happen. Or oh, whatever. You know, um, breeders, some, not all breeders, what I'm saying, some breeders who you can trust is gonna tell you exactly what they have, their purpose of breeding. Now, if a person has more than, let's say, seven, eight dogs, that person pretty much has a wide range of what kind of dog he breeds for. 
So, for example, someone like me, with the amount of dogs I have, I breed for more than just one type of dog. So, um, Goliath, come on. That fool. Anyway, so, um, I'm breeding for more than one type of dog. If you are looking for different types of dogs and all that kind of stuff, pretty much I have a higher range of different dogs. Two, understand, get a feel of your breeder. If you don't trust your breeder, don't buy from that dog. I don't care who it is. It could be me. If you don't trust the person that you're potentially wanting to get this dog from, don't buy it. The biggest problem that I have is people who call me about a dog they bought from somebody else. Bruh, y'all gotta stop doing that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that's one of my biggest pet peeves ever. People call me about a dog. Goliath! That fool I went to ball. That, this fool. You guys, look. I'm gonna tell you guys. See this fool? Way down there. See that fool? Way down there. Goliath! Give me the... Oh, God. Come here, boy. Somebody who wants Goliath, come get him. Anybody gets Goliath in the next five seconds, you can have him. One, two, three, four, five. Um, but, as I was saying was, getting a dog. So, getting a dog for me is you would then uh, do your research, understand what you want first. Talk to your spouse. Before you decide to call me, talk to your spouse and figure out what is your budget, what are y'all trying to spend, the dog, the quality, and all this kind of stuff. Before you even call me, if you know you have a spouse, don't call and then I'm getting back with my spouse. I'm gonna tell you why. Because that's a game changing plan and I don't want someone to adjust their plans to get a dog and put themselves out of budget mm -hmm. for it. A lot of people, have tried to um uh, a lot of people have tried to um put themselves in a situation to get something that they're not financially really ready for and that's not what you really want to do right now um so get with your spouse or your parents or whoever if you are under the age of 18 do not call me about a dog I do not speak to minors and minors in my book. If you are 17 and about to be 18 next week, call me next week. All right. I do not talk to any minors. Um, listen, please keep it professional. Um, <coughs> excuse me. That way there. So let's recap. First thing is do your research. Um, you know, do some research, research, figure out what exactly you want. Talk to your spouse before calling. Find out what your budget is before calling. And have a time frame of when you're trying to get a dog. If you're trying to get a dog next week, next month, next year, two years, or whatever cases, understand that um, and what that breeder has to offer. Then you call. And you guys, please, the worst thing to do, I'm going to be honest you guys, man. The worst thing to do is... Um, the worst thing to do is call a breeder and just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on about your dog you had. If the dog passes away or whatever the case is, trust me, I sympathize with people who have lost their dogs and all that kind of stuff. But some people don't even give you a chance to even speak. Hello. And then I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I'm going to answer the phone, Butler Kennel Rottweilers, and people still be like, hey, hey this is Butler Kennels. That's the look I be giving on this phone. I'm like a lot of you guys. Um, so um, it's definitely a, it's definitely a, uh, a thing. Give give it a chance to conduct business. Now after the business is done and the vibe is going good, and you're talking and then you're trying to go about it. Like trust me, you can you can talk about your dog. I'm not telling anybody you can't. I'm just saying don't just be talking for 20 minutes about your dog and. You don't have any kind of business. And then it's, yeah, man, my dog. And trust me, we all have stories about our dogs that we can share. Trust me. I promise you I got more stories about my dogs to share on the phone with anybody. But I like to conduct businesses. That's the reason for the phone call. And now, anybody knows when we talk on the phone, a lot of people have always said, man, it's a pleasure talking to you. Had a good time talking, discussing whatever it is that we were discussing. 
about make you feel home man you don't have to be all tight and yes this is what i want bye i'm a very busy person so basically i believe you are probably busy as well too so i don't want someone to just you know i don't want someone to just i don't want to waste your time i don't want somebody to waste my time just based off of um just talking and talking and stuff like this here as well now you guys do not call me in discussing about a dog you bought from someone else and how to get the dog bigger that is not a way to call me about i'm never going to give someone advice on what to do with the dog they got from someone else all right i'm gonna go all around it and tell you all day long man get with your breeder go to the vet talk to them whatever but i am never giving you advice on any dog you got from somebody else that doesn't come before me that's not my place because the first thing something happens i don't know nothing about your dog okay and stop wondering why your dog don't look like my dog because you bought a rottweiler just because you bought a dog that looks black and brown does not mean you bought a rottweiler um, because you got a dog that someone said was a German Rottweiler does not mean you have a German Rottweiler. There's no such thing as a German Rottweiler. Please understand that and know that. A breeder tells you he got a German Rottweiler, go the other way and say, Butler Kennels told me to tell you, man, you should stop selling that bad business and that's a lie. Someone's going to say, yes it is, I got a dog from Germany. It was a German Rottweiler. Show me a piece of paper, official paper, anywhere, even in Germany, where the paper says, German Rottweiler. There's no such thing. It's only called Rottweiler. That's like someone saying an English Bulldog is now a Russian Bulldog because it came from Russia. That doesn't make sense. The name of the dog, official name, is an English Bulldog. Doesn't matter where it's from, what state, which country, or whatever. That dog is called an English Bulldog. I hope that makes sense to someone, even though every time someone's going to argue that statement no matter what. <laughs> Bro, why do you look like that? Look, look, look at this fool, you guys. Dirty mouth. Anyway. Um, how many dogs you recommend getting to start a kennel? That would be something you can call me about, you guys. I can't tell you anything about. If I don't know anything about you, that's the thing about it. Asking a regular breeder how much dogs you should buy, some breeders going to tell you as much as you can afford because they want your money. Um, I do consultants. Consultant as a hundred dollars for up to 30 minutes. Everybody who's had 30 minutes, uh, a consultant have actually um, left reviews and talked about it and said it was totally worth it. Nobody till this day have said um, they felt like it wasn't worth it. So if a hundred dollars isn't worth getting the correct information to start a kennel for success, um, and you know, not just saying it, but 17 years, you guys can see my success um and sharing it with you guys as well mm -hmm. i feel like i had to sneeze um so that's that part there as well um so basically you guys understand exactly what you guys are wanting to buy make sure you guys understand that um understand the breed the rottweiler the rottweiler isn't for everybody um if you want because like earlier, you guys heard me talk about the short hair pointer and Harold's getting that. That's the dog he's into. He does hunting. Now, my dog can hunt. My Rottweiler can hunt. And he has hunted um, other things before. Not Goliath, but I've had dogs that hunt things or whatever. But um, they're not designed to hunt certain animals or whatever. You're not going to take a Rottweiler out there and say... Um, I'm going to hunt birds. You may have a rock where I should catch a bird, but nope, leave it alone. Leave it. Leave it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Leave my ball alone. Leave it. Come on. Nope. See, so keep trying to turn his head around to get the ball. So, um, I'm just going off the top of my head right now, you guys. I'm not even um, giving you guys all the chrono chronological order. Um, but if you guys are wanting something special, if you guys are wanting a dog, make sure you feel comfortable with your breeder enough to have that. And if you can't, um, and if you bought a dog already from a breeder and you got questions, go to that breeder and let that breeder answer the questions. I always say, if you had enough time to spend your money with them, let them answer those questions for you as well, too. 
a breeder should give you a lifetime support not just give you buy your dogs bye see you later um as well all right and all you upcoming breeders um you know if this is what your passion is don't do it because of the money you can tell people who do things just because of the dollar bills um you know everything's about because i'm telling you now me lord knows the more money i spend into these dogs i'll be like man where's my ferrari and everything else but my ferrari is right there better than any ferrari give you some love and and all that kind of stuff come on bub so let's get to answer some of these questions you guys let's see what you guys you guys see i am out of breath all right out of shape out of breath out of everything hey 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 shut up everybody wants to talk and speak okay so i'm gonna sit down we're going in the office and we're gonna have a seat and we're gonna answer some of these questions for you guys figure out what exactly you guys are wanting and i'm gonna get you questions one-on-one -on -one. we're gonna do that and then i got one more special surprise for you guys Bro, get out of there. Come on, Glock. Come on, Buck. Come on. That one is dirty, man. Come on. Ugh. Got my shoes, man. Got my shoes, Bubba. Got my J's. I go do shoes left and right, you guys. Oh, go back in your kennel where your peoples are at. Hold on a second, you guys. All right. Kong, I'm not letting you out right now. I know. Someone actually want to see you too, but these are not all of my dogs, you guys. So, we got some dogs that's all around for you guys to see. Clean my lens off a little bit for you guys. Hopefully, everything is clear. Um, so, you guys have a question, you, you are free to do so right now as I'm going to answer all the questions or try to answer a lot of you guys' questions. And hopefully, it pertains to some people that might be having the same question or whatever. Um, if you ask me about a price or anything else, I'm just going to ignore it. Um, you guys already know already. Um, my hours are from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Texas time. I don't care if you're in California. I don't care that your hours are different from mine. My hours are the time that my time zone that I am at. Okay. So let's get it started cut this lights on in the office area all right bam let's get started in here Good thing I didn't need my camera, I mean, my other, my other, uh, the Peter still says 37% um, uploading right now. So, okay, hold on a second, I got you guys. Ah, there we go. God, oh. All right, let's see. All right, let's answer some of these questions, you guys. Um, 
If I don't get to everybody, I'm sorry I'm so close up on the camera because I'm trying to read you guys' comments and I don't have um, my other phone on me to watch you guys in this video. Um, I just had a pretty pup to be. I just want a pretty pup to be a part of our dysfunctional family, Crystal Ford. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. somebody message got deleted. Um, Lady Freedom, jump through the phone, Goliath. I'll take you. <laughs> Rhonda, you get the third shirt. I have a shirt for you. So you three people, you guys, if you guys have gotten that, um, the three people that have won it this time here, I will be sending you guys out a shirt. If I don't have your shirt sizes, I will put you on the list and I will get you one of my shirts coming. <coughs> Excuse me. When my shirts come in, I will definitely be giving you guys my shirt. All right. Um, da -da 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 -da. You bought a husky, lol. Inside. <laughs> oh man. Uh, from Bayville, North Carolina, but now live in Statesboro, Georgia. Retired five old. Okay, congratulations, man. My Rottweiler. My Rottweiler. It's Rottweiler, you guys, too. This person said it, but I'm just saying. A lot of people text me Rockweiler. It's R-O-T-T-W-E-I-L-E-R. -E -E My Rottweiler was right from Germany. Both parents from Germany. GKC, not AKC. And they're still just Rottweilers. Uh, awesome. Live. Great kennel. You are A1, Tony. Jeff and Cole, appreciate you. Can I schedule an appointment for a consultation, please, sir, and add a t-shirt big enough for me to put a puppy in it? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, if you give me a house, I will give you a puppy. Let's even trade. Let's do that. The baby needs some water. Yeah, he got some water. Yeah, he saw that afterwards. He still wants to play. That boy will play all freaking day. E! Uncle E! Sorry, Tony, just logged on. So what is coming to an end? Oh! All good things must come to an end, you guys. I'm glad he just put it on in the whole purpose of the video. Um, let me answer the question first and I got you. Um, okay. Uh, boy, I'm in the hole doing this new setup, but it's worth it. Thanks for everything. <laughs> are your dogs some family? Are all your dogs same family inbred? No, I don't do inbreedings. Uh, do you ever go back home? Um, I do. Not really particularly like to. I love Texas. I don't feel like that. I love Texas. And I love South Carolina too. But I just have a lot of business here. And I don't have a lot of time to stop what I'm doing. Um, to go from there. What is the best way to determine your female is going into heat without getting her hormones level check? Uh, first thing you're going to notice is a female will start to spot. Um, some females swell their vulva, which is their area, um, starts to swell up. It swells. Um, but most times, um, people say you can see their teats starting to change and their bodies and all that kind of stuff. But the best way I would tell anyone is get progesterone testing done just to make sure and see. I think that's the most scientific way to find out. Um, but, uh, you have fruit trees. Yes, I do have fruit trees, Rhonda. I have um, pear, apple, grape, oranges, plums. Um, man, I got peaches, all of them. I love fruits. You guys, I'm telling you, if you know anything about me, I love fruits. I love fruits. I love hats. If you guys want to donate some hats to me, I am a seven and three quarter hat falcons don't buy me nothing else but falcons i'm just messing with you guys you guys don't have to buy anything so my question is i understand there's a waiting list for a pup does the buyer get to choose the parents of the pup they want so the way i work is this here in a typical person that wants that's you can't you can't choose a dog because let's be realistic you know nothing about my dogs you may like the way a dog looks and the way i operate is this here you may call me so if you call me and says, Tony, I like the way Barack looks. I love Barack. I want a puppy from Barack or whatever the case is. 
But let's say Barack's temperament doesn't match anything of what you're looking for. Barack isn't a good look for you, but you like the way he looks. So I can get another dog that provides the puppy that may look like Barack and give you the temperament that what you're looking for. So now you have the dog of what you are wanting and now you're 100% satisfied. You have the looks, you have the temperaments. Because the biggest problem is people will choose a dog mostly off of looks. You know nothing about my dog. You may say, hey, I want um, Tessa and I want Hulk. And I may never breathe those two together. Um, because they're just not the perfect match. Just because you want that doesn't mean anybody else may want that. And that temperament may not be a good temperament or a good combination because you know nothing about my dogs. And when a breeder, a true breeder will never let other people breed his dogs for them. That's like going to a plant or whatever and or you go into a restaurant and you go in the back and you go make, you know, you're not gonna do that. You know what I mean? Um, they have people in place to do that because they know what to do and how to do it. Um, and if you trust the breeder, let that breeder do his job for you. Um, and if you don't trust it, then don't buy from that breeder at all, period. I hope that answered that question for you. Who's the live parents? I'm not saying. Um, the reason why I'm not going to tell you guys, I'll give you guys that. Um, a lot of times when I tell people who, who, which parents of which dog is, everybody wants that dog and it gets annoying. Because if I show a dog and I show Goliath today, I want a dog from Goliath, I want a dog from Goliath, I want a dog from Goliath, I want a dog like Goliath, I want a dog like Goliath, I want a dog like Goliath. This is dad, I want this dog. And then, you know, then the next dog I show, and everybody wants a dog from Tank, and everybody wants a dog from Hulk, and everybody wants a dog from Sting, and everybody wants a dog from Barack, and everybody wants a dog from this person, that person, and then it just gets confusing. So, um, if you like the dogs and I like to show consistency, that they don't have to be from that particular parent as well. Hope that answers that question. Man, I will buy me a shirt. Let me know when you have a 3XL. No, I have a 2X. I think it's when I have the 2X right now. I got you. Uh, expect a call from me soon so I can. Oh, hold on a second. You guys. Please understand this, all right? I'm not not selling shirts because of this, but if you guys are going to wear the shirts and everything else, don't pretend that you work for Butler Kennels, okay? Uh, I'm only giving dog shirts really to people who really bought a dog from me because it has happened in the past that someone had my shirt. They want to support me, and that's totally fine, and I agree, and I love them for it. Uh, support, support, support. But they didn't get a dog from me. They got a dog from someone else. And the dog really wasn't up to par. And people thought that dog came from me because he's wearing a butler kennel shirt. And that dog didn't come there. So um, I started because it gives a false state. I love those who support it. And our first set of shirts sold out the first week. Uh, I'm not really selling shirts to try to make money. I'm really giving these shirts to people who pick up a dog from us. <coughs> Excuse me. So people who pick up a dog from us is will be getting a shirt um, free. Um, you support us, we're gonna support you back um, as well. But that's that part, okay. Um, it's better call for me soon so I can get some consulting. I trust your word. Jerry Dudley, I appreciate it. Um, I would hope that I can give you the best advice that I have. Um, Tony Gore says, I'm on the list, y'all. <laughs> Pit my baby on a diet, she lost weight and she went. Pit my baby on a diet, she lost weight and she went into heat. Okay, man. I don't think the diet really caused that. I think it's the timing or maybe another female being around that way or whatever the case is. I think that has that. Tell why the kids, Pell said hello. I will definitely do that, Pell. Okay, number one question. Why won't you show that giraffe that's in the back? Stop playing. <laughs> you guys, RK Rock Wallace is in the freaking building. He's in Louisiana. Y'all saw Tanisa, the one I told you guys earlier that sells the houses. Um, real estate agent. That's husband and wife there as well. You buy a house, you get a free puppy. That's on him, not me. Okay, they have a free puppy giveaway with the dogs you buy if you buy a house through them, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, we'll donate hats and you donate pups absolutely I will donate pups I'll, I will donate um, 
Fluff Puffs. I got y'all. We're going to send you a Saints hat. Arlen, you better send my dog back. Arlen, y'all, you guys, Arlen will never come back down to Texas. You see that? Well, he come to Texas, but he don't come to see his boy no more. So he got his dog and he just took off and he don't got time for the little folks no more in Louisiana. But it's all right, though. It's all good. Uh, DC, oh God, I'm not even gonna finish that one. No, I absolutely love your babies. Thank you, chatting. If I said you guys' names wrong, I apologize. I promise you, I'm never gonna intentionally do you guys' names wrong, and I'm still gonna get to what doesn't last. All good things must come to an end. So, I promise you, when I get done with these comments, I'm going to answer what the title was about. If you guys stuck around this long, then you guys, I appreciate you guys, and that means you like what you see. And I hope you guys that are. Ooh, ooh, man. I hope you guys that are in this building right now are smashing the like button, telling me where you guys are from, and um, being patient with me as I give, get ready to give you guys the answer to um, what that is about. Big Boss Rock Wallet Kennels 100%. What's up, big guy? Another kennel in Texas that has some of my dolls. You guys go check them out as well, too. Um, man, uh, he got, I think he got more dolls than not my dogs, but he got, he got a few. I think he got three of my dogs. Uh, three. Three of my bloodlines in this yard. You guys go check them out as well too, man. Go check out RK Rock Wallace. Go check out um, Hot Rods Kennels, man. Go check them guys out. Okay. How are you? I am fine. Thank you for asking. Do you believe your passion is your purpose in life? I like that question. Yes. My passion is my purpose. Um, my purpose is my passion. Um, I love what I do, man. And I pray to God for this. And you know, this is what I always wanted to do. Not because of anybody else, not because of had to prove a point to anybody, but this is what I love to do. And this is my calling. I believe it's truly my calling for me. Um, what do you do medically to take care of them? Georgetown, South Carolina. Medically, if something goes wrong, I have a, I have three different vets on standby that I call for different things and depending on what it is. Um, I'm family, LOL. You are family, pal. Wow, lots of fruit trees. I'll pick and pick up fruit. What did you when did you ask me the fruit trees? Oh, when I was telling you about it, I guess. But yeah, we have a lot of fruit trees. Pick a pickle fruit for a pup. <laughs> Rod, I like that. I want to support and support only. Pal, you always been supported, my brother. Hey, I want that booster. If you give me that white booster, I right, look. Let me ride that booster for a little bit. Then you can do what you want to do. Glad that we have a mixture of different dogs, but the Kennel Rottweilers, they are fire. Wow. Welcome to my channel. I am professional Rottweiler breeder, and I am from Morocco. From Morocco. Uh, Tanisa says best believe it you will definitely get a pup when you buy a house or land um do you guys go hit up yasi tanisa p go hit her up you have my word you guys will hit up sean rk rockwall you guys will get a puppy if you don't you don't move until you get a puppy you stay on that land and you make sure to say that and make it work mm -hmm. best dogs i've ever seen number one kennel texas you guys i appreciate the love but I am not number one kennel in Texas. I'm just gonna admit it. I am not the number one kennel in Texas, man. I'm the number one kennel in the world, period. That's just how I feel. Best of the best. Not cocky, just really love what I do. I'm not gonna lie. But if anybody has an opinion about it, everybody's got an opinion. You should feel like you're the best, no matter what. What's the second best thing about breeding, breeding being a Rottweiler breeder? What's the second best thing? Um. Man, I don't think there's a number, but I can tell you a few good things about being a breeder is that you're able to give someone a loving being that will change their lives forever. Um, you don't notice it sometimes as a kid, but at some point in my life, having a dog changed me and it changed how I interacted as a human being and just being around animals so um knowing that i touch people man and just being able to just be able to give somebody something that they can love unconditionally i think that's the some of the greatest qualities that many people can't ever say in life that they've actually been able to bless another family to that point uh, <coughs> 
uh, phone battery is a little late. Uh, no problem, BMC. What What's good, big bro? King Haas Kennels, what's going on, Bubba? He's got one from us as well. Got a shirt. Where's your shirt at? Shirt somewhere over there. Oh, it's over there. Uh, hi, Tony. Do you know any magic remedies to get rid of dog diet real quickly for my Roddy Maximus? I have no idea, and I wouldn't even recommend anything besides you going to your vet to figure out what is going on with your dog. Do not go off these these people that's going to tell you to try this and try this. They know nothing about your dog. They tell you to try something, now your dog, your dog's allergic to it, and then boom, now you got a dead dog. Now you got to find burials a burial place for your dog which we don't want to happen so the best way to do it is spend the extra money get the vet done and the vet you trust and everything else and go from there you guys i have a plenty of i have plenty of dog but i am not the dog guru as far as figuring out medically what to do for your dogs now there are some remedies to give your dogs but not all the same remedies are made for your particular dog okay uh, i'm not trying to be smart funny anything else i'm just saying honestly for like go to vet and let them tell you don't trust these barracks lawyers or these computer lawyers to give you an answer or whatever. Forgot to, to represent. I'm from Detroit. Chatting from Detroit. Where you guys represent me from? I was coming this month, but my transmission went out in my truck. Soon as I recover from it, I'm coming. You guys, you, you guys hear that, right? You guys hear that? His truck, his transmission. I got a transmission for you. Come on and get one. I got one for you. Lady Freedom, amen. Rockwallers drool a lot. No. Um, yes and no. They don't. They do. Um, breedings makes it different on the heat. Yes, it's hot. You're going to drool. All that kind of stuff. But it's not like a St. Bernard where it's always drooling. Some dogs are in the house never drool at all, period. Some do. Some shed. Some don't a lot. It just depends on the breeding and how you get your dog. Do you use software to keep track of customers and pet information? Uh, I have a system set up in place for me and my people. Hey bro, just saying hello from Bermuda. I wanna go there. Just be, just getting house in order first. You guys understand there's a waiting list. If you guys are wanting to get your house in order first, please understand, do. Getting a dog from me will require you to pre-plan, getting ahead of time. When you're trying to call me, don't call me when you're trying to get a dog right now, okay? Try to. We got different ways. I won't say never, but just give me a call, but try to plan it out. Because if some people are like, hey, I'm getting my house built in a year, and then I'm gonna call you when the house is built, they think they're gonna get a dog then. And now they gotta wait a certain amount of time depending on what they're looking for. And sometimes they could have gotten a dog when they was waiting for it the whole entire time and all that kind of good stuff there. But call me and then we go over in detail about how to do that. LOL, I meant I'm from Texas, LOL, not that you the best only in Texas. I know, I'm just messing with you, because I was, I, was, I didn't say that for that, I was just saying, period. I'm like, I had to give an opportunity to say that I'm the best, period. Um, someone said I was in the top five, and I told them they're top five. The other people that he listed above me bought dogs from me, so. I'm your favorite breeder's favorite breeder. But no, I mean, honestly, everybody should have a self-confidence of feeling like they're the best or they love what they do so much that they challenge anybody to a healthy challenge is good you guys i love the fact that you guys don't think that you got rk over here doing his things and even people who started after me is nothing about seeing someone else fail it's about seeing people do their things grow learn from it take from it and make it your own and go bigger uh, all these guys I mentioned to you, we're always on the sun, always, but we've been on the phone before, we've always talked and, you know, shoot ideas to each other, me individually to each one of these guys all the time, um, you know, we shoot ideas, hey man, we think about this, and sometimes these guys who's just started breeding, you know, a couple of years now, giving me ideas, and I was like, mm -hmm. wow, that's amazing, so don't ever feel like you're too big, that you just got it all, that you're the only one that can give answers, now, I bump heads with a lot of them, because I feel like I know what I'm doing, but... Sometimes I'm wrong, and, you know, nothing wrong with being wrong sometimes. Um, then send me a shirt, bro. No, pal. Pal, come get the shirt. You know what? Come get it. You supposed to, if you take that bite, come get it. <laughs> what started you with the Rottweilers? I grew up with the Rottweilers, man. When is your next letter coming? Not answering that question. Great content, bro. Gotta go smash these ribs right now. And no, you will not receive a free puppy with the purchase of a house. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it kills the truth, then I'll call you. I'll call to get a good dog. Okay, you guys. Let me just go ahead and write to it right now for you guys that I've stayed alone in this message right quick. As you guys know, I started and I got a helper to help me with everything. Um, and with that being said and done, it did allow me to do a lot of stuff um, on the working side of it. And um, <coughs> so I had to let my worker go today. Um, he's in the military as well. So um, my worker is in the military and they just got orders. So he had to spend some more time to focus on what he is doing and wanting to do. So now that means that I no longer have a worker again and I'm back to being me. Uh, just myself getting stressed out and all this kind of stuff here as well um, But as you know 17 years, I've been doing it doing it myself anyway uh, Making it happen. Uh, it was good to have some help, you know a helping hand that can assist with certain things um, As well, but just want to definitely tell Malik I appreciate his time that he has been with Butler Kennels and I will be on the lookout for some new blood of people coming in uh, to come and work uh, for me as well uh, I'll set the applications below or something but no I will do an interview of some people mm -hmm. and figure out who is the best mm -hmm. um, for me um, to kind of go that way as well all right so that is the answer to um, all good things must come to an end the good thing was man I did have a helper that was helping me I got some chance to sleeping a little bit longer sometimes and do these kind of stuff here man it did help a lot um but i will be finding another help you guys that's going to help me um we're going to expand man i mean we have no i have no choice but to expand on one person and you guys please be patient with me man i know you guys get like man i'm just calling him right now but i'm dealing with hundreds and hundreds of phone calls a day and I want everybody to get answered and I'm trying but I'm one person and sometimes I am a human being and I get tired so you guys um, I appreciate your support I appreciate your patience and all you guys that are willing and on the waiting list right now and I've supported you guys supported us financially mentally physically and even just sharing these videos that's such right now you guys I hope you guys are hitting that share button that like button that thumbs up man and um, very very much is it better to get two boys of the same? I can't answer that question right now. I can give you, if you call me and give me an idea about what you're looking to do, then we do that, or consult it. I can do that for you guys. Can you give us a little taste of future plans? Uh, not really, not yet. What's going on with the Falcons? They haven't been to the Super Bowl for about five years. Um, we're gonna be back this year. I doubt it, but you know, it sounds good. Are Rottweilers as stubborn as people make them out to be? Rottweilers are stubborn, but one of the greatest loyal dogs. <coughs> one of the most loyal dogs that we have um, there is. The Falcons are just waiting on someone where they can play against in the Super Bowl. Go Dirty Birds. Jill! Jill, Jill, Jill. Jill, I got your message. I was supposed to call you back, but I was on the, um, I was doing something. Ah, oh, man. I got a good laugh with your message. That was awesome. But I do have you coming up really soon. I got you as well. Um, if you don't feel like you're the best at what you do, you're probably in the wrong business. I personally think you are the best just by watching your videos and how you treat your dogs and customers. Thank you very, very much. Uh, who was that? Crystal Ford. I appreciate you. Shoot you out a shirt too as well. You just get an extra shirt. I'll shoot one out to you. Shoot me your information and I'll send it to you. Um, where can I get my resume? Um, I'm not messing with you, Tanisa. You better go eat that ribs with uh, Sean. I actually just came up with, on your channel yesterday. How do we get on the waiting list? Um, give me a call. 843-670-3346. My admin can put that on there as well. Um, the phone numbers and all that kind of stuff. How to reach me. Um, I can work the phone for you previous customer service and telemarketing associate jill you would be awesome for the phone you'll have everybody laughing more than anything else though um we'll get any work and they'll be on the phone just having a good old time with you and george have any of your dogs ever had hip dysplasia no keep on keeping on bro yes very stubborn and spoiled as a two-year year old year old baby <coughs> so 
there you guys have it, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show. I hope you guys have enjoyed the time that I'm tired. And then I am going to... Um, everybody's ready to call me. I'm on here, live. Um, you guys, if this is the first time tuning in, I hope you really did enjoy the show. I hope you give it a thumbs up. Give it a smash button. Tell me where you guys are from. And tell me what you guys thought about this video. I hope this video brought some attention, some knowledge, and some information that was useful for you today that you could definitely have used. Um, man, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate all of you breeders that have been in here today. I thank you guys, man, uh, for the support, um, just watching the, the videos. Um, and just collectively, man, I'm gonna be honest you, uh, this world is so, this world is so big, and there's so much of us here, man. I hope that everybody learns to support one another and give advice and guidance that people get away from thinking things are a competition or people trying to pit things against you and all that kind of stuff here. Um, man, I always say, women lie, men lie, numbers don't. And um, everybody knows what that means when you get the understanding of it. If you don't, look it up and see. But um, get to that point in life, man. Like someone asked me earlier, your passion, um, your purpose, find out what your purpose is and your love and do that and make that your your goal every day. Every day I wake up, this is my dream and I'm living it every single day without regret. So I hope you guys are enjoying your day, love your day. I'm going to one more question. I know there's a waiting list, but it must be right first. Yes. Oh, finance. Um, also into horses, so the king first in the dogs. Uh, I like how you love on your dogs when they're being picked up by their owners. <laughs> Enjoy the nice live stream. Thank you, Chris. Chris, I got you too, Bubba. Boom, shirt for you too. Hit me up. I got you. Just inbox me all that information. I got you guys. Um, uh, like I said, my live videos, man, to give us some stuff, and um, that's it. You guys, all hundred of you guys that have stayed with your boy, man, thank you very much. Hope everybody has smashed that like button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys, and thanks for joining in on my dull life and what I do, and you guys enjoying it, man. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Enjoy life. Take life serious, but not too serious, but you can't enjoy it, okay? Love you guys. I'm out. <laughs>